for the past 20 years or even longer, we have been under a multilateral trade regime. So the World Trade Organization, established in 1995, picks up um, the previous trade regime. And that meant that the near totality of world trade was governed by the same rules for all the countries which are WTO members. But over the last few years, there has been a rise in regional free trade agreements. So uh, regions have set up their own trade deals. And across uh, the world, you have seen uh, a rise of negotiation, say, between the United States and Europe for a free trade agreement. Um, so that was already making trade coverage less comprehensive and therefore more heterogeneous than before. But we're now entering an era where President Trump favors bilateral trade deals. That's a trade deal between two countries. In Britain, by leaving the European Union and the single market, Britain is gearing up to negotiate also bilateral trade deals. So we now see a world trade system which is not as homogenous as before. You have to know a lot more about uh, what the tariffs, the duties, the import VATs, the customs details are for not just regions, but increasingly for countries. So that means that businesses have to pay a lot more attention to the details of trade policy than before. Because before, for a lot of businesses, knowing that um, goods markets are linked and have essentially very low tariffs around the world, you get on with business as usual. You base your production supply chains in different countries based on cost, efficiency, all the usual things without having to worry too much about what the global uh, picture for trade policy looks like. But in a more fragmented system where regional and bilateral deals um, are more important, then supply chains in particular have to pay attention to the details of uh, trade um, agreements, about coverage, um, and all of those things I think point to a time when trade policy will matter, not just for academics and economists and policymakers, but also uh, for businesses and for consumers who are concerned about where the world system is headed, whether we are going to continue to expand globalization or um, if we are looking at a time when countries are beginning uh, to look inward. I certainly hope it's the former. I do know that with the rise of the digital economy, it's probably unlikely the to be the case that we will stop buying things just because it's produced in another country. But that doesn't change the fact that um, trade policy will affect the cost of what we as consumers buy. So I think um, my big idea in three words is trade policy matters.